Nalini, you are living in Delhi and yeah, you have worked with different children for different purposes. Maybe you can let us know a little bit about your work with children. <clears throat> I start, when I started my work with children, I taught in several schools and there I was teaching the children creative yoga. And what I was doing there was to encourage the children to open their minds through very simple meditative practices like Chitkash Dharna, which is a practice of concentration. It's an advanced practice for adults, but with children, I work with visualization and helping them to concentrate. They really enjoyed the practice and they they loved doing Surya Namaskar. And then after the practice, I would make them write down. And I found that that really helped the children. Then I worked with deaf and dumb children, teaching them, uh, teaching them relaxation. And I found that Soham, the mantra, was what they really enjoyed. They really loved doing Soham. Later on, I started working with children who were really runaway children, children living on the street. And this has been very, um, a very uh, fulfilling work in the sense that it is, it gives us, it gives me great happiness that at least for a little while, these children can have some happiness in their lives. I run an NGO called Torch, and Torch works in the area of prevention of substance abuse and AIDS. And working with the children is one of our main projects now. We work with the children who live with their parents on the pavement. We teach them life skills, how to say no to drugs, how not to how not to become criminals not to become thieves we teach them basically how to read and write and now we are teaching them how to skip so that they have motor coordination and these little boys they are mainly boys love skipping and they're also playing a game which i see a lot of children in germany playing called hopscotch so this is what we are doing with the children. And other than that, I have worked with people, counseling them, people who have HIV infection, who have AIDS, and also taught people with AIDS how to be able to manage their pain in the hospice. Then working with drug addicts, it is possible to teach them very simple meditation practices and help them to change their thinking. <clears throat>